Well, morning boys and girls. Friends, enemies, undecided, don't care. Not done much this week. Really, that wind's a bit blustery again. Since every time I come out, it's blowing a bloody hooli. But then in the days in between, it's peeing down, so... Can't really win this time of year, can you? It's springtime. Where the weather changes every three minutes, just for the sheer heck of it. The east is a bit milder, I think it's about 12 and a half degrees now. Um, what have I done? Well, this weekend, had the front wheel off. Um, check the bearings, make sure they're smooth. They were smooth, well lubricated. Didn't look that old, so I cleaned them up. A bit of fresh grease. And I had the calipers off. Pads out. Pump the calipers out a bit. Have a look at the state of them. Again, pretty clean, no scoring, no corrosion. Happy bunny, but they are, they are a pretty bloody powerful thing. Brakes on this thing anyway, the front brakes. Do you know, I was just discussing with my sister. Now, I don't know how right or how wrong this is. She was saying we're all going to get a national weather alert on our mobile phones as a test. And apparently, I don't know any different, I haven't researched it, I'm not going to. Until we've responded to this text, we can't make or receive a phone call, so you have to do it pretty childish. This is odd to me. This country has certain regions that can be afflicted by high winds, snow, flooding. Why do we need an alert for the whole country? What is the government up to? Now, bear with me. Child of the 50s. Having lived through the Bear Pigs and whoa, and other nuclear threats, is this actually a national nuclear alert system the government are playing with? Oh, Putin, the pop lead, he's been threatening quite a while now. But do the government know that there is a higher threat level from him? Give me your thoughts. It is just very strange that we need national weather alerts on our mobile phones. That also upsets me a little bit in that they're taking away our freedom to make our own decisions. And they're saying, if you've got a mobile phone, we will manipulate it. Now, I'm willing to bet there's a way of preventing these messages. So when I get home, I shall do a little bit of research. There's always some bright spark as a workaround. I don't want messages from the government. This severe weather, I'll see it. I'll stay indoors. If there's a nuclear bomb coming my way, trust me, I'll see it, I'll hear it. And at my age, do I really give a monkeys? Apparently I've outlived my usefulness. There's no way you'll get a job over 70. Unless, of course, you're working for nothing in a charity shop. Which, let's face it, I'm not going to do. Spend my money on petrol to get places. 
Okay. There must be a foot either side of that transit. He obviously has no idea how to drive it. Oh, God bless. Never mind. Go on, girlie. Can't do that. I knew I could do that. So what are your thoughts on why a government would need a national weather alert system for a country that doesn't get national weather? We get snow in Scotland, flooding in some areas in the west. Mm. It's suspect, it's dubious. And the fact that the government are telling us we've got to have this and we have no option is also pretty suspect. Who gave the government the right to enforce this upon us? Governments are getting too big for their boots. And I think the time has come for a revolution. A French style chop their heads off revolution. It's only my thought. If somebody wants to organise one, well, I'll bloody well join in. Damn right, give me a pitch. Anyway. <laughs> what have you been up to? I love the engine braking on this beast. That wind's still uh, not allowing me to place it where I want to, but it's still fun. the roads are nice and dry. We can have a bit of a tinker about now, can't we? That's it, I think. I'm bereft of anything to say. If you're not in the UK, has your government got one of these National um, alert systems that you have to be part of. I don't know. I just know it smells. I'm sure the truth will out in the end. Here for a tight bend, um, E economy or overdrive or whatever you want to call it. Most other bikes have gone down two or three gears there. It's the reason I love the old girl. That bloody wind! 
knocking me all over the place. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. You know the rules. Be happy. Be kind. Help each other. I'm already dreaming of chocolate biscuits and a cup of tea. I shall be home in five minutes. Bye. Do it, Mrs. Headlight and two white spotlights and you still bloody want to wander across. Uh, fuel, that's what I need. Go-go juice. Bye.